If you've been following my guides here recently, then you'll know that I've installed a lot of mods on the Galaxy S8 Plus that I have. And today I want to show you how to completely revert back to stock Android and even stock recovery on both the Galaxy S8 and the Galaxy S8 Plus. You may want to do this because you feel something is going on wrong with your device or maybe you've installed something that messed the software of your phone up or maybe you just want to accept a new over-the-air update and you want to return back to the Android that you originally had so you can accept that update. We're going to do that with Odin and to start we're going to need to power down the Galaxy S8 and then boot up into download mode. If you're unsure of how to do this or how to get Odin then, then look in the full, full tutorial that's linked in the description below this video as I'll have links to everything you need for this guide. When you get to this screen we're just going to press the volume up button to continue and now we are in download mode. So we're going to go ahead and open Odin up and then we're going to extract the firmware file that we downloaded for our specific version of the Galaxy S8. This needs to be the exact model number and the location slash country of where you bought the device from and you're going to see that's going to extract a number of files the only one we need to focus on is this one that starts with AP and ends in a tar.md5 file so we're going to load that AP file into the AP section of Odin Now remember this is a big file, so it's going to take a little time to load that file up. You can see I have a loading cursor here because Odin is working. And once that's done you should see it listed in the AP section with that checkbox. And now we can go ahead and connect the Galaxy S8 to our computer with a USB cable. You should see that added message whenever you connect it. And when, then we're just going to press the start button here. We're going to get a little progress bar right here in this first screen. Unless your device shows up in any of these other boxes. This is just going to show us what's going on. And during this process, make sure that you do not disconnect that USB cable from your device. And just remember that was a big file that we loaded in here. So this will take some time to complete. Just be patient. Once you get an error message and that this thing stops, then everything is fine and just let Odin do its thing. And just again, just for a side note, this will wipe all of the data from your device. 
as I said, we're, we are returning to stock Android. This includes the recovery mode and all of our system data. So all of your applications and games and settings that will all be wiped and you'll have to set all of that back up. Once we saw that completed on Odin, you're going to see the Galaxy S8 turn off and reboot. Once that happens, you can then disconnect this USB cable from the device. And again, just remember that we just wiped everything on our phone so this first boot cycle will take longer than normal Android has to set a bunch of stuff up and we're gonna boot right back into the Android activation setup screen So there we have it. That is how to return back to stock Android and return back to stock recovery on the Galaxy S8 and Galaxy S8 Plus. So you can now set your phone back up, add your account, and then download and install any new over-the-air updates for your device.